Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. Today's video is going to be a look into Evelyn's fifth grade school year. This is going to be for the 2025-2026 school year. There's a lot to cover, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Okay, so our main curriculum for Evelyn for fifth grade is going to be the Torchlight Level 5 Equity and Ethics. I am so happy and excited to be revisiting this curriculum. I did it with my boys a few years ago, and I just cannot wait to get started with her. I did end up changing five of the literature picks for this year, so I am going to go over the books that I decided to go with. Um, I didn't want to go super in depth because I do have other videos on this curriculum from the past. So I'll probably try to link those in the description box in case you guys are curious. But I did change five of the books that were suggested. Um, the, the reasons for that is because obviously my boys have done this curriculum before. I sat down with them and asked them about the books because I knew that I remember that there was a few of the books that they found kind of boring and they weren't just super interested in. And they also gave me suggestions on books that they've read that they've thoroughly enjoyed that kind of follow the same themes. So those are the books that I kind of was able to replace with the books that are suggested with the curriculum. Now I picked books obviously that fit the same criteria, the same topics. Um, just try, I try to keep it as simple or as similar as possible. So I'll show you guys those once we get there. Um, for Torchlight, um, She's going to have her student notebooks. Now, if you guys remember from the past, we did a little literature journal that we kind of incorporated with Torchlight. Evelyn will be working on that. Um, it kind of looks like this. So this is Adrian's from a couple years back. So it's kind of just like a notebooking type of style of a uh, literature notebook that we kept throughout the curriculum. They even kept a literature atlas to track where in the world the books were from. So that is something that I'm super excited to start with Evelyn. So this is obviously what it looks like in the beginning. It's a brand new notebook. I already created her literature atlas for her. Um, and I always already created her first coloring page for the first book that we're going to read. Um, so I'm super excited. I can't wait for this notebook to look like this. Um, and I'm so happy that it's something that I can keep and hold on to. So let me go ahead and set that aside and then I'm gonna go over the books. Her literature picks are gonna be Planet Earth is Blue, The Care and Feeding of a Pet Black Hole. This is one of the ones that I changed. Take Back the Block from the desk of Zoe Washington. This is one of the ones I changed also. This is a recommendation from Vincent. The Last Cuentista. The Girl and the Ghost, Each Little Bird That Sings. This was actually a recommendation from a friend of mine. The Girl Who Speaks Bear, recommendation from Vincent, Tumble, The Simple Art of Flying, When You Trap a Tiger. This was just something I had to look up that fit the same theme as the book we were removing. Um, the One Who Loves You the Most. So that's another one where uh, we changed. And the last one, Quintessence. So those are going to be the novels she's going to be reading for the school year. Okay, so also for Torchlight, they, uh, these are the books they recommend for writing and for poetry. I don't know how much we're going to get into these books but um, Evelyn's a little bit more into writing than the boys ever were. So I'm kind of excited to tap into these with her. For grammar, Torchlight recommends uh, Michael Clay Thompson. Now, this is something that me and Evelyn are working through right now. We're not done yet. So it's definitely going to take us into the next school year. After this one, we're going to tap into Grammar Town. They do have a practice book. With her, I'm not doing that. We're actually, she created this little journal. This is a journal where we do all of our extra grammar practice. Sometimes I print out pages from other uh packages that I have just for her to get extra practice. So this is what we're using for grammar. Okay, so with Torchlight, we're also going to be doing their social st studies portion of the curriculum and their ethics. Now for social studies, um, we just have a little notebook here. Most of the books that we need for the social studies are, uh, there's one that I have as a Kindle, so I don't have that to show you, but we have cities, micronations for which we stand and globalization. Um, and like I said, there's one other that I have as a Kindle, um, version of it. So with this, we have a little binder. All of her pages are basically in here, except for her hands-on activities that are, uh, part of these books here. So for this, every Friday, we're going to be doing a current event. For the boys, we just did a current event and talked about it with Evelyn because I have more of a one-on-one -on -one time with her with this curriculum. I decided to create these pages here. So with these, we're going to be able to write down our current event for every Friday. And like that, we can keep it as a, you know, just like a little keepsake of the news that went on in that, that school year. 
Um, so that is how we're going to be doing social studies. Now for ethics, um, they recommend keeping a journal. But since the year that we did this with the boys, the book that we use for um, ethics, which is the, this book is anti racist actually released a journal. So instead of just keeping a journal, um, we're just going to use the journal that it comes with. So this is um, the journal that goes with the book, basically. Now, part of the ethics, we also use this book. This uh, this is your brain on stereotypes. And that is the portion for ethics. Let me go ahead and move on. Okay, and so now for science, I decided to try something different with Evelyn. Um, we went with elemental science, the science chunks. Now for this, it's, it's intended to be made into like lap books or notebooking pages. Now for Evelyn, we decided to do the lap books, but instead of having four different lap books, we'd, I decided to kind of put this together for her. And she actually helped me out to put it together because um, we went ahead and just did everything all at once so that... Throughout the school year, uh, we're not having to cut and paste every little section. We did it ahead of time, and she helped me out to set it together. We picked all the colorful construction pages together. Um, so for this one, I decided to keep the same themes that we follow with Torchlight. Now, with Torchlight, because I'm familiar with it, I'm familiar with the literature and the topics in the books, um, I was able to pick four different science chunks from elemental science that fit the same um, topics or the same subjects. Um, so because the Torchlight, they, we tap into a lot of outer space, uh, people in science, people like Carl Sagan, uh, black holes, things like that. Um, and then uh, we actually do a whole project. By the end of the school year, we do a whole thing on biomes. So the four uh, science chunks that I picked for Evelyn are stars, planet Earth, weather, and major biomes. And this is going to be the pretty much last part of our school year. Um, now with this one, I also have some other printables of like little models that she can create for each one of the biomes. So we're going to do that on top of um, the lap books here. But um, that is what we have for science. Now, these are the books that we need for the science. The Glow-in-the-Dark Constellation, the Osborne Science Encyclopedia. These are for the biomes, the Wild World Handbook, and Biomes Discovery of Earth's Ecosystems, the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia, and Super Earth. So these are the books that we're going to be using for um, the science lap books. Um, so let me go ahead. And okay. So now for one of our electives, we're going to be doing the art of rock and roll. This is part of the torchlight curriculum also. Um, so she just has a little journal. We did the same thing with the boys where we just did a couple little art. Um, cause with the art of rock and roll, there are a couple little art projects and things that you can do. So that's just like a little journal to keep for that. Um, these are the books that we need for that. The history of rock, big fans, little punks, music is my life and legends and icons and rebels music that changed the world. So these are the books for that. Okay, now for art. For art, um, considering Torchlight does introduce a couple art projects throughout the curriculum, Evelyn is my child that loves art. She is my, definitely my more artsy student. Um, we started actually working from this this past school year. She's only doing a couple pages a week, but she loves working from it. Um, and it's by a company called Let's Do School. You can get this on Etsy. It is a complete art curriculum, no joke. It is a workbook, but it taps into pretty much all the fundamentals of art, including art study. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it is such a beautifully put together art curriculum. Um, we're going to get into some of the pages she's already done. So obviously, like I said, Evelyn has already worked from it. So there's a couple pages that she's already worked from. We love this book so much. I ended up getting one for myself. Now, this is something that we actually work on together. So when we do an art lesson from here, we actually sit together, go over the lesson, and then we work on it um, together, obviously. Um, so we love this. I was actually considering getting one for Adrian for the school year also. I'm still undecided. We might. Um, I'm going to see how the art that he's doing this coming up school year works for him. If I feel like he needs more, then I'll definitely be ordering another one of these. Okay, so now for math. For math, we've been kind of struggling with different curriculums. We were using math with confidence, but it was becoming too much for Evelyn. Like it was just a lot of jibber jabbers, what she calls it, because it was just too many things in one page. Um, so I started looking over the all-in-one curriculum, the math curriculum that they have, and I ended up getting the fourth grade level for her. 
um, because she, remember a couple years ago, she fell behind a little bit. So she was working one year behind where she is. We started this one this school year. So we're not going to skip to fifth grade until she's done with the fourth grade level. She's actually really enjoying this. Now it's the pages are just more black and white, which I've noticed for Evelyn is just easier for her to stay focused with the lessons. So we're going to stick to this. Like I said, once she finishes this one, I'll go ahead and uh, print out the fifth grade level for her. Okay, guys, so that is it. That is what I have for Evelyn for fifth grade for the next school year. If you guys have questions on anything, please feel free and let me know. I will be linking everything in the description box in case you guys are curious of anything. I'll also be linking some of the videos of the past torchlight videos that I have. So like that, you guys can get a better look at how we did it in the past. I'm just super excited to be doing this with Evelyn again. And uh, I'm just excited for this next school year. My 10th my tenth year in homeschooling, I feel probably the most prepared I've ever been. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.